We'll start off day three in Ireland then with a grade three chase at Thurles. The Phil Sweeney chase it's a two and a quarter mile event. And at the top we've got the Overlord for Joshua Sutherland. Popular view for David Hooney, Adrenaline Leon Van Rensburg, Ancient Grass, Craig Beckwith, Cape Frank for Darren Thompson, Caulfield, Alex Cherry, Lions Roar for Paul Rhodes has also got off an atom. Valmina Tate for David Robertson, Viking Flagship for John Morgan, Chantilly Lace, Kevin Meenahan, Houston Battle, Vinnie Gerrard, Mandrake Root, Martin, Lena Mozart, Zetkin, Vinnie Gerrard and the Ranting Art for Graham Clutterbuck. So 15 then in this in the Irish rain, and away we go. Uh, a few greys, and two immediately to the four Viking flagship. The real Viking flagship wasn't a grey, of course, and let's see if this one is anywhere near as good as the real one was as they get down to the first of the 12th. Uh, they pop over that one nicely. John Morgan front runner, then Viking flagship taking them along by five to Lions Roar in second for Paul Rhodes. The second of the greys wide on the track is Cape Frank. To the first ditch, which is the second fence in all. Oh, they all take that nicely. The third of the greys is Houston Battle in the green jacket towards the back for Vinnie Gerard. But it's Viking flagship, and that takes him into the third with a lead. With Mandrake Roots now move through into second. Then comes Up and Atom with the Ranting Arms and Cape Frank and the Overlord and Ozark Zetkin as we get a nice, nice low down view. Very dramatic from this angle as they skip over number four and all over that one. Okay, although Valmina Tate at the back was a little untidy and the jockey did well to stay in contact with the horse. But it's Viking flagship who's bowling along in front. Well clear. A good five lengths at this stage. From up and at it was now moved through into second. Mandrake Root on the rail is third. Then comes Cape Frank and the Overlord Ozark Zetkins after that with Ancient Grass. Pretty tightly packed in the main body of the field as they get to the fifth and Viking flagship went right through the top of that and it was a fall as Chantilly Lace has gone. So Chantilly Lace is out of it as they pass the winning post then with a complete circuit to go and Viking flagship is the leader from Mandrake, Rupo, Potatum and Cape Frank then the Overlord and Ancient Grass and Popular View and Ozark Zetkins after that then the Ranting Arts drop back a little bit and towards the back of the field Valmina Tate is just a little bit out of shot the back marker as they make their way to the sixth. Extremely well that one nicely with Viking flagship, the clear leader by a good four lengths. And ancient grass has now moved through into second. Mandrake Root still got the rail. And the second of the Greys, Cape Frank. Getting some great shots in this race. Close up action, low down action as they come into the seventh. Over that one they all go. With Valmina Tate still the back marker, but now Viking flagship is no more than a length or two clear of fellow grey Cape Frank. In Ancient Grass has moved into third. Mandrake Roots, the one that's dropping through the field like a stone, but it's Viking flagship who continues to lead from Cape Frank in second. Ancient Grass is third. Then they're running out in the Overlord and Lines Raw, and then Adrenaline as they get over number eight, which they're all safely over. Houston Battle now just been relegated to the back. But it's Viking flagship and Cape Frank now. Mandrake Root running on again in third as they come to this ditch, which is number nine. And over that one they all go. And Viking flagship continues to leave. And now Mandrake Root's moved through in a second. Cape Frank is third. Lions Raw is fourth. Bit of a gap to the Ranting Art as they take the third from home. And over that one it's still Viking flagship who's led all the way so far. Now the Ranting Art though comes around the outside. Mandrake Root still got the rail. Then comes Lions Raw. Cape Frank popular view. Up and Atom trying to get into it. Running on well from the back is Ozark Zetkin. This is the second last. And Mandrake Root and leading Viking flagship's gone. Viking flagship's gone and as they race down towards the final fence. And it's Mandrake Root who's in the lead now being chased by Ozark Zetkin. Cape Frank is back in third. Lions Roar's fourth. Going down towards this final fence then now. Mandrake Root by about a length to Ozark Zetkin who looks to be going the better of the two. As they come down towards this final fence then now. And Ozark Zetkin has hit the front. Ozark Zetkin takes it up. Mandrake Root trying to fight back. These are clear of Cape Frank and Lions Roar. It's Ozark Zetkin on the Near side at the final fence. Ozark Zetkin and Mandrake Root they land together, but Ozark Zetkin gets away from it well. Mandrake Root trying to fight back, but he's got no more. And Ozark Zetkin takes it. Mandrake Root second, then Cape Frank on the overall popular view and lines run all the way back to Valmina Tate. And Ozark Zetkin takes it from the outside of Mandrake Root second. So Ozark Zetkin the winner for. 
Vinny Gerard Mundrake route second for Martin Leadham. Cape Frank for Darren Thompson was third, and the Overlord for Joshua Sutherland was fourth, with Lions Raw back in fifth for Paul Rhodes.